Hey, welcome back to The Lookout. So uh, we've been covering a landslide here up in Butte Creek Canyon caused by the collapse of a hydropower flume operated by PG&E. And, &E. and uh, so the purpose of this video is um, Butte Creek salmon are pretty tough. Um, right now, we're hoping they can survive drinking and breathing mud for a week. But um, we just want to show uh, what they already go through to get out to the ocean and back uh, as part of their life cycle here in Butte Creek. So the spring run salmon, they hang out all summer in pools in Upper Butte Creek. And then in the fall, their eggs hatch and the, the baby fish flush out downstream, out into the valley, out of the mouth of Butte Creek. And into this really altered landscape of the valley where there's canals and ditches and pumps and dams. And eventually Butte Creek actually becomes part of the Sutter Bypass down here, which is a flood control project that uh, diverts water from flooding down by Sacramento out past the Sac Airport, out right th through Sac, basically right through downtown, <coughs> and out into the Delta. And the Delta is basically kind of the, um, it's the drain of the entire state, right? Every parking lot that puts toxic runoff into a creek drains into the Delta. Every storm drain that goes into a canal ends up in the Delta. Um, out through the Golden Gate we go, and the lucky fish uh, that make it to the ocean uh, now face a whole different environment to, to grow in. So once the fish get out to the ocean, they've got to dodge sea lions and sharks and fishermen. But um, if they're lucky, they, uh, they grow large. And then uh, when they're three years old, sometimes when they're four, they come home. They come up through the Golden Gate, through the Carquinez Strait. And uh, I got this kind of crazy data set here I wanted to share. Uh, back in 1998, the California Department of Fish and Game did a survey of barriers and kind of hazards to fish. And so every one of these little traffic cop icons here is either a diversion or a dam. And uh, then the different colors out here in the Delta are all the different reclamation districts or water districts that uh, kind of control the flow of water on this landscape. So here we're coming up through the Delta and we're coming up through Sacramento. And uh, so every single one of these diversions um, previous to the you know 1990s, most of them were unscreened. So they were just big these pumps with pipes coming into the creek, and they would grind up fish and spit them out into the fields. And so here we're coming up through the Sutter Bypass towards the Sutter Buttes, kind of north of the Sac Airport, up towards Yuba City. Here are the Sutter Buttes. All along this way, there's been literally billions of dollars spent on fish passage, uh, either removing dams or putting in fish ladders or putting fish screens on diversions, putting on, you know, He's like windshield wipers basically on the um, diversion so they don't get full of debris. Here coming up, you know, past Gray Lodge and uh, up towards Durham through the rice fields. In the past, all these little um, dams here were places where the farmers would just um, close off the dam and divert water into the fields. And if there were fish there at that time back in you know, the 1980s and before, fish would just get flushed out into the rice fields. So all that just to get up to the foothills, uh, to get up into Butte Creek Canyon. 